What's going on, Throne Army? I am packing up all my gear for Syracuse, and I figured I'd show you guys what I have in it, because you guys have always been asking for that, and uh, just while I'm doing it, I thought I'd make a quick video of it. Um, I have one of the Warrior Deep Space Bags. Um, I've had it since high school. Um, it's still, there's not one thing that has broken out, and I absolutely love it. Um, my gear is just starting to kind of overflow, though, so I might be upgrading. I really like those, like, giant Maverick ones. Um, we'll see. But anyway, um, I'm going to walk you through everything I got in here. The first up is the kidney pads, um, the Under Armour kidney pads. Um, just picked these up just for going up there. Um, so far, love them. Haven't really played with them in a game yet, but um, love the lightweight, the construction, and they're pretty cheap. So um, those are my kidney pads. Uh, next are my shoulders. Um, these are the Easton Stealth Liners that I did review a while ago. Um, I absolutely love these things. And all I, I picked up the uh, gate um, kind of hard plastic bicep pads. And um, I'm actually just going to mount them right on here with some string. And um, I already tested it out. The thing works perfectly. Nice and easy, simple solution. And uh, it also lets me keep my pads for field as well um, if I want to. So um, that's pretty awesome as well. Uh, next are elbows. I'm bringing my STX G22s and this crazy athletic gold. I absolutely love these things. Chris got me these for Christmas. Um, so going up there, um, probably some of my favorite pads I've ever had. Absolutely love these things. Um, next, I guess I'll just do gloves. Probably the oldest thing that I own are these awesome brine thrillers. Um, I've had them for a very, very long time. Um, I just, I love them. They're very broken in and nice. Got the palms cut out of them. Um, normally just rock this all open. Uh, the other thing I do that um, I, I just always do it, and someone brought up the other day to me was um, I actually buy the goalie glove when I can if they have that version, and then I cut the extra piece off. And what it does is it then gives me that hard plastic on my finger for when I'm uh, cradling one handed or, or two handed, really. It's just a little bit more protection than I like for my top thumb. So it's something I've just always done, um, and I don't know if I'll keep doing it. I just, it's just a habit of mine, but I forgot I did that, and someone pointed out. I was like, oh yeah, I always do that. So I don't think I've ever mentioned that, um, but yep. Yeah palm cut really really love these things they're super broken in kind of disgusting in terms of usage but um, definitely just love these gloves uh, next we have shoes and I have two pairs in here I normally have two to three um, the first are the cleats I think these are the burn fours um, does it say I think they're the burn fours I don't know but the warrior mids all black um, this is the first time I've gone to mids in a while. I normally wear lows, and I like it, but I can definitely see a lot of the stress points where I'm flexing, so I might be going back to lows. I haven't decided yet. Um, it's, it's all preference, but um, I have the mids and black, and then um, the new shoes I just picked up that I'm absolutely in love with are the new Hyper Dunks. I bought these just to go up to Syracuse to play on that weird indoor turf carpet hybrid, and then we threw some Gymalax Athletic Gold laces into them uh, just to make them a little bit more throne themed. Absolutely love them. Let's actually just put all of these out. Um, and then next we have a cup. It's a Shock Doctor one. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but that's just what I use because it's like in the shorts. I like that. Um, next we have a Reebok, a like um, super hydrophobic, whatever you want to say, towel. I just like this to wipe down my helmet um, or my visor when I'm playing. Um, just I like to have that. And then uh, next we have, um, the, is it Mick David? I always forget. Yeah, Mick David, Niebuhr, Niebuhr compression thing. Um, I really like this. I usually put this on my lead leg that gets beat a lot or I fall on a lot. Um, we play on a lot of turf and so um, that's kind of my lead leg so I don't really fall to that leg and it just prevents my leg from getting cut up uh, more and also protects it a little bit from sticks and slashes from uh, swelling. So um, I really like that. I've done that for a few years now and um, I've definitely seen an improvement in my leg getting less beaten up. So um, I like that for my left leg. And then getting into helmets, um, you've seen this is my CPXR um, with the yellow chin strap on. It's got the throne logo there. Um, we currently have uh, the uh, head strap or vent helmet wrap for the, uh, the GoPro, which I have in here somewhere. Um, I like that on this one because it's a really round helmet, so it falls off kind of easily if you put a curved mount on it. Um, not easily, just if you get hit, it's going to fall off. So I have that one on that helmet. And then my second helmet, which is probably my favorite piece of gear, I would say, is my M11 Pro, the custom color one. Absolutely love this thing with the Under Armour cage with a four-point harness. Um, this one is a little more flat up top, so you're able to get away with the mount. We got the throne sticker on the back. Um, this is going to be using for box, and uh, I actually wear it pretty much all the time because I love how light it is. So. Um, in the side pocket, side pocket here, I have the Evo Shield. Um, I hurt my left wrist a few weeks ago playing, and so I've been wearing this a lot on my left wrist to protect it from slashes and whatnot. Really, really cool product. I'm doing a full review soon of that. Um, here's my GoPro. Um, I always kind of have that in the side compartment and it just snaps right in there and you can see it. It's on the helmet, ready to go. Um, and then I have pliers, lighter, scissors, tape, 
mouth guard, extra end cap, electrical tape for taping on um, the box pads to make them a little bit tighter. And that's pretty much everything in the side compartment. Zip that up so I don't lose anything. Um, and then over here, there's kind of a dry compartment here. I just have a black, black to silver uh, jersey, reversible. I have our awesome Lax All Stars winter box jerseys, number four. Um, just throne colors, so I like to carry that one with me. And then a bunch of other. Um, I always have a uh, change of shirt in here, so I have a warrior, like a warrior dry fit or whatever they call it, in there for after the game. And then a bunch of Ulax jerseys for. Um, just in case anybody else needs one. A lot of times we might have fill-in players, so I like to get them a jersey so we all match. So I always carry a few extra, and then probably the thing you guys are most excited for are the sticks. Um, there's a big stick pouch here. I normally carry three, but I'm only taking two up to Q's with me. Um, the first is the, um, or actually both Warrior Evo Pro X6s. This is the one with the first piece of throw mesh in it in a king pocket. It's got an OG crypto with the full tape on it. Um, this is just a gorgeous stick. I absolutely love this stick. So I'm bringing this up as a little bit just like of a, I don't know, a reminder of how this all started. I just really love having this one with me at all times. And then the new beauty that you guys are probably most excited for is my other Evo Pro X6 with the gray to black fade. It's got a little throne logo in there. Um, I have that on a Warrior Levitation, the yellow end cap and a yellow screw. Um, and this is my new baby. Um, absolutely love this thing. It's got custom 15 mil throne mesh in it. Don't know if you can see it, but if uh, there's actually the throne logo. There's a big T. In here, um, this kind of bottom shooter, I wasn't planning putting it on that stick, and then I really wanted it in there, so it kind of breaks up some of the T, but you can see it. And it's got a black stripe going down the middle. It's got yellow and black going all the way around with some athletic gold. Uh, shooter locks to it with white laces. Um, this is going to, my box up, it's just a giant kind of baggy mid with four straights, really defined channel. Um, love this stick. Um, I'm actually planning to use this for field as well. Um, with the upcoming season. So that is my gear bag as of today. Um, probably the next thing I'm gonna get is gloves. I might have uh, Mike Powell sign these and then I'll retire these. I was thinking that would be pretty cool. Um, but that's everything guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you guys think there's anything, let me know what your guys' favorite piece of my gear bag is. Um, that'll be fun in the comments below. If you guys like other kind of videos like this that are not just about stringing or other things, let me know. I'll try and put them in there. I'm trying to come up with more uh, vloggy ideas and stuff like that. So that's everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Well, and um, I just absolutely love the way they look. Threw some Jim Lax, uh Athletic Gold uh, uh, laces in here just to give a little bit more of a throne-themed. Um, absolutely love it.